the pandemic gave one woman an opportunity to restore her connection with her Lipan Apache roots. She's working to recreate the environment of her ancestors in South Texas. This includes bringing the buffalo back to their native land. As we close out Women's History Month, Ken's Five's Alicia Neaves shares her story in tonight's Together We Rise. On a sunny, windy day in Welder, Texas an hour and a half east of San Antonio. Tonkashula, thank you for this day. Thank you for my life. Lucille Contreras is giving thanks on the two year anniversary of living on her ancestral land. We are living on 77 acres with 15 head of bison, which we consider our relatives. Our Lipan Apache group and communities, we are Buffalo Nation people. Born and raised in San Antonio, Contreras built a career in IT. In 2014, she committed to a seven-year focus, learning about buffalo caretaking as a way of life. She lived on a Pine Ridge reservation in Porcupine, South Dakota, starting her own experience of rematriation. Rematriation is a movement right now across the United States, which we also call Turtle Island, where many tribal people, indigenous people across the land are becoming more closer to our own indigeneity in regards to food sovereignty, land ac access, land acquisition, caretaking of the buffalo as relatives. It was then she created the nonprofit Texas Tribal Buffalo Project as a pathway to come back home. Its mission is committed to healing the generational trauma of Lipan Apache descendants. Ready, homie? And she didn't return empty handed. She brought back the gift of the buffalo, the first and only male given to her by a donor. Their scientific term is um, bison, but we as indigenous people have embraced and we claim the word buffalo or in Lipan Apache, Iani. The Lipan Apache claimed Texas as home in the 1600s, the farthest east of all Apache tribes. In the early 1800s, when Anglo settlers came to Texas, the Lipan Apache welcomed them and traded bison, venison, hides, pecans, and other staples. By 1880, Smallpox, food shortages, and war forced the tribe and its buffalo to scatter to avoid being hunted and killed. I really favor this map because it has a line that goes down the length of Texas that says, immerse, he immerse herds of bison. And so this is documented 1836. More than a century later. Come on, come on girls. On this grassy, water-rich land in Welder, the homeland of the Lipan Apache. There's my big boy. The buffalo roam again, treated with reverence. They survived massacres, decimation of their population. So did the indigenous people of Texas. Right now, Contreras believes all 14 female buffalo are pregnant. People can come and feel the energy, feel the healing. Their medicine. Contreras purchased the property with a USDA loan. She's licensed to sell bison meat. That helps support the nonprofit's programs. There are other buffalo ranches in Texas, but very few indigenous women, she says, are practicing this way of life. We're creating a sustainable model that hopefully can be replicated. Contreras just rallied in Washington, D.C. as lawmakers prepare to vote on the new farm bill. Right now, only federally recognized tribes have access to agriculture resources. She's asking for a seat at the table. We do know that we are from here. We have our oral history and we're able to trace our roots right very back to this land that we're standing on. As indigenous people, regardless of federal recognition or not, we have every right to claim our own sovereignty. Alicia Neaves, Ken's Five.